You're listening to the sounds of Salford from the UK going out to the world. The old nag's head in Earlham sponsors the morning show on The Sounds of Salford. Hi, good afternoon and welcome to The Sounds of Salford on this Sunday rainy day in Salford. I know it's a bit late, the show going out, and we usually do an easy listen show, but I was doing match reports, plus I had the kids had breakfast to make, and all that sort of palaver. That was Jackie Wilson with your love keeps lifting me higher. And that's going out here to every single sofa fan that was at that brilliant game yesterday. Also, we're going to play that for all the lads at Brighton RUFC, yes, who are newly crowned champions. But I'll play them a song in a minute. Right, first up with a very special request is our Redus. She said, Williams, get some always look on the bright side of life because there's always plenty to look forward to. Cheer up, Brian. You know what they say? Some things in life are bad. They can really make you mad. Other things just make you swear and curse. When you're chewing on life's gristle, that grumble, give a whistle. And this'll help things turn out for the best. And always look on the bright side of life. Always look on the light side of life If life seems jolly rotten There's something you've forgotten And that's to laugh and smile and dance and sing When you're feeling in the dumps Don't be silly chumps Just purse your lips and whistle That's the thing And always look on the bright side of life Come on! Always look on the right side of life For life is quite absurd And death's the final word 
You must always face the curtain with a bow. Forget about your scene. Give the audience a grin. Enjoy it. It's your last chance and the So always look on the bright side of death. Just before you draw your terminal breath. Life's a piece of shit when you look at it. Life's a laugh and death's a joke, it's true. You'll see it's all a show, keep them laughing as you go. Just remember that the last laugh is on you. And always look on the right side of life. Always look on the right side of life. That was always look on the bright side of life going out there to Carol Reddish Red Sean. I tell you what, I was looking on the bright side of life yesterday with my team. Went and only smashed the mighty Warrington 24-14. Even though he was a few dubious refereeing decisions, the lads just got on with it and they just did a great victory and I was I was buzzing. I was absolutely made up yesterday. One of the best days I've had for ages. Right, next up with a very special re- re- request is my mate Bazzy. We sat next to you yesterday at the game. And uh, I know Baz was made up as well. He's asked for a bit of Moon River. So let's get out on here. A bit of Andy Williams from the film Breakfast at Tiffany's. Moon River Wider than a mile I'm crossing you in style Someday Oh dream maker You heartbreaker Wherever you're going I'm going your way Two drifters off to see the world There's such a lot of world to see We're after the same rainbows And waiting round the bend My huckleberry friend Moon River And me Wherever you're going, I'm going your way to drifters off to see the world. There's such a lot of world to see. We're after that same. My huckleberry friend
That was The Moon River, Andy Williams, and coming up next is The Beck and Wind Up. Hello? Hi, hi. My name's Tiny Tim. Tiny Tim, hi, how are you doing, Tiny Tim? Are you David Beck, Chum? Yeah, my name's David, yeah. Hiya, mate, you all right? Yeah, I'm really good, how are you? I'm all right, I'm a bit warm, though. You're a bit warm? Why are you warm? It's very hot outside, it's cold weather. Oh, right, right, I'm with you, yeah. It's boiling outside. It's boiling? Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, it's been very hot where I am as well. Where were you? I'm uh, I'm in the Mediterranean at the moment, just near Marbella. I'm not got a clue where that is. Anyway, I've got five questions that I need to ask you. Is that all right, mate? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Brilliant. Right, first one is fame. Fame? Yeah, fame. I'm getting pretty famous now, right? Right. How do you cope? Uh, what, with fame? Yeah. Yeah, well, um, I mean, really, it's uh, you take every day as it comes, you know. I mean, obviously, I'm right, quite famous now, and, uh, mm-hmm. you know, there are lots of people out there that will wish you well, but, yeah. but at the same time, there are there are people that don't wish you that well, as you know. And sure. uh, it's, it, you've got to be really careful. I mean, uh, how famous are you? Do, do people know who you are? Well, I've got loads of pepperoni taking pictures. Of me all the time and everything. Pepperoni? Oh, yeah, yeah, you mean paparazzi, yeah. Whatever. Uh, but they're taking pictures of me all the time and trust me, I didn't. Because, well, I mean, I've never heard of you. Never heard of me? Are you big where you come from? I'm Mavis. <laughs> right, part two is endorsements. Endorsements, yeah. You're the face of Gillette, Adidas, That's right. and Take a Break magazine. Right, yeah. What endorsements is a rising star? Young star like me, should I go for? Um, well, you know, I mean, uh, I mean, with me, it's, it's, you've got to like sign up to a product that you, you know, you can identify with, and uh, and I've got an interest in all those things like Gillette, Adidas, uh, Pepsi, Vodafone. So, I mean, what you know, what are your your favourite kind of things? What what do you like? Milky buttons. Milky buttons, yeah. right? They're the bestest. Milk the the milky bar buttons, yeah. Yeah, they're the yeah. ones. Them, do you like right. them? I don't mind them. I know Brooklyn likes them a lot. Um, well, why don't you? Uh, why don't you do an advert? Can you do an advert for one? Do you think you could do an advert for Milky Bar Buttons? I could do one now. I'll go. Mmm, Milky Bar Buttons, just for me. That's there you go. Good, you see, it? that'd sell. That'd sell for me. That. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah. That's great. Wait, right, next one is women. Women. Yeah. Right. Wait, right, Victoria is very desirable lady. I'm right. so jealous of Brooklyn Romeo and Tom Cruise. I wish she was my mum. Is she really nice in real, real life? Yeah, you know, I mean, uh, Victoria's my soul, mate. Um, I remember the first time we met, I just knew she was going to be the one, you know. And uh, I, I saw her after a Man United game when I was playing there. And, uh, right. you know, it's been a fairy tale romance for us, really. And, uh, you know, we're very, very happy right now. Right. I mean, uh, I wish I, I was in love like you was. Yeah, who's your favourite woman? Um, Dory, out of, out of finding Nemo. <laughs> oh, she goes, right. hello, speaks well. You, she, what, you, what did you mean by, by Victoria being desirable, anyway? She's nice. She's nice, yeah. yeah. Someone yeah, well, told we... me once that she was desirable. Anyway, right. anyway. No, number three, question number three. We've done three, haven't we? No, that was two. Oh, right, OK. Number three is money. I you... Are you proper loaded? Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, well, I wouldn't say... Well, yeah, I probably am, actually. Um, we do all right for money, yeah. Yeah, you know it. I'm not. I'm, You're I'm, not? I'm proper skin. Oh, dear. How much you give your children? A million? Because <laughs> I get, like, a five a week spends. That you get a five a week? Yeah. And that, that's like loads, because he gets me some stickers and yeah. some sweets. I have a chomper and the milky buttons. <laughs> and right. what, what could your kids get with their spends? Well, I mean, uh, you know, you know uh, I don't really do the pocket money. Victoria, she looks after all, all that sort of thing. Uh.